The future of technology is here. And we're getting a look at how it's changing our world. We want to check back in with tech expert Jessica Naziri live at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Jessica, robot trucks have now arrived. You're blowing my mind. <laughs> Take a look at this in back of me. This is the first a uh, truck that is driverless. We have it right here at CES, and this is Don, the founder of Kodiak and CEO. Don, I'm so excited to see this firsthand. Tell me exactly what we're seeing and how this, this works. Well, this is Kodiak's sixth generation truck. We've been working on this technology for about six years, and this is the first truck that has all the integrations and all the redundancy required to actually go driverless on public roads, so it's very exciting. And so what's really interesting about this is you said there's three redundancies and you have cameras here. You said there's four cameras. Tell me about the tech inside here. And once a truck is on the road, how does it go from point A to point B? We use sensors, like you said, cameras and LIDAR and radar uh, in Kodiak's proprietary sensor pod here to see and understand the environment around us. And these sensors allow the AI computer on the inside to make intelligent decisions about how to safely navigate and drive down the road. The idea for the semi-truck is that we're moving freight all across the country uh, and starting, starting at, at places like Dallas, going to Atlanta and other places really far, thousands of miles away. Uh, we can do it reliably, we can do it safely, we can make sure freight is delivered on time. So they hand off the truck, that's what happens. Yes, exactly. So we have a person on the ground that, that does all the connections to the trailer and then they hand it off and the truck drives off on its own, gets to the other side where we have another person to receive it. Now I could see people thinking, oh well, there goes my job. What do we say to those truck drivers out there that are scared of a driverless truck? Well, there is a massive driver shortage in the industry today and the truth is there are millions of trucks on the road today. This is going to be a gradual and slow rollout of this technology, and so we're really looking to backfill that demand in the, in the short term, uh, and ultimately we want to improve safety of our roadways with this tech. And now going back to the tech right in the back of me, we do see all the sensors here. You said there's four, and you said something interesting. If there is a malfunction, if something doesn't work, you can replace these. That's right. So the entire pod sits on a single spindle, which makes it easy to take a, a pre-calibrated sensor pod pull the current one off and put the new one on. We can do that in less than 10 minutes. It's actually faster than changing a tire. Faster than changing a tire. Well, that is very fast. Now, one more thing you said, the brains are inside. That's correct, yeah. The brains of the operation, what we call our AI computer that's running all the sophisticated neural networks, it sits inside just behind the passenger seat and it talks to the braking system and the steering system and the, and the engine in order to propel the truck. And when will we see these on the road? We're already operating 24-7 on the road with a safety driver today and we are going to be going driverless later in 2024. There you have it. Take a look at this driverless truck, guys. It's pretty impressive. Jessica, thank you so much.